Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to do a quick guide on the crystallization catalyst and how to find the materials for it really quick. For those of you that don't know what the crystallization catalyst does, it's basically a prestige for your weapon or for your descendant. So basically, once you get your descendant or your weapon proficiency up to 40, you can use one of those crystallization catalysts to select a module socket type and put it in here. And what those does is basically that with your mods, you slot in a mod with the same symbol as what you put onto the blank space here. The module not only costs half as much capacity as it usually does, so it is very useful to basically spec out your character and max out your modules. Now, the best way to farm them, I will basically go over all the materials and then lastly I will say something about the blueprint. So when it comes to farming them, you actually have two options. Option number one is what you are seeing here. Basically, you obtain a blueprint, then you gather the materials, then you go to your research station and and you basically craft it it takes seven hours and 30 minutes but there's another way and the other way would be to do those defense missions you can do the special operations the thing here is we don't know what the drop trunks is but you can actually get one of those crystallization catalysts fully crafted basically at the ends of a fortress defense mission the reason why i'm not doing this is because for one it takes one hour to complete i think all 21 waves that is and then also it's not guaranteed you get one and since i find defense mission super boring and for the later stages you also need a full squad or a really spec descendant since most people quit after like seven or 12 waves i don't really think that's a good way to do it so i will mainly focus on the crafting here so the first thing we are going to obtain is the murky energy wizard and that's super easy if you click on acquisition info here i personally prefer sterile land normal the forgotten stim missions monster so if we click on it it's that mission and i'm also saying normal because normal is the fastest so before we are doing this mission right now i just want to show you real quick as you can see from the stats of my bunny my bunny is absolutely not maxed out i haven't done anything crazy with her i only put on the energy activator i got from the campaign slotted some and all I'm doing is I have some skill cooldown and some skill duration simply for my sword ability so it can basically be active the full time and all my other mods would be like increased HP and increased defense since I'm basically currently saving my crystallization catalyst to unlock ultimate bunny to make her my farmer so this mission you can basically run through very fast without putting any stuff on your descendant so let's start the operation and then I will basically fast forward it until it becomes important and so now that we reached here what we want to kill is this guy daily tracker and now you can see we got 15 of them on easy mode that's more than enough to one and let's return to albion this run takes like a minute max now the next thing we need to farm are those things and for those basically the same we only have those two outposts with the new outpost timer only one minute this means at most you have to wait like one minute obviously you want to do it in hard mode since it gives you the most resources So as you can see, we were unlucky. So we just have to wait another minute for it. So we just fast forward. So as you can see we got 16 not what i wanted but that's enough for me usually i would say you have to run this like twice and then you get enough or you usually get more so you run it twice and then every time after you just run it once and it's more than enough 
Now, as for the mixed energy, those are super easy to farm, but I hope you already got Enzo, because if not, you have to be very good at minigames, but everyone should have it. So as you can see, we need to go to Agna Desert Encrypted Storage, and the easiest way to do this is to go to Mirror Stone and unlock this temporary safe zone course. If we portal there, we go obviously on hard, and also you can set it here on private. And if we travel there real quick, so once we travel to this position, there can be a few places where we can farm this material or basically where this big container is so the first thing would be you turn around and you scan down here if you get the sound that something is down here this means it's either there down here or in a tunnel there but for me it didn't spawn here but if i ping into this direction you will hear the sound it means it's somewhere over there and here there are also only two positions where this can be for one would be down here i think it's probably down here Yes. So that's one thing here. And you just play this a short, simple mini game. Press the button. And this alone will net you enough of those. We got eight. That's the minimum we need. And then in this like tunnel over there, wait. In this tunnel over there, there can also be another one. So those are the locations, but usually you get one of those three back there. And for those code analyzers, you just, if you normally play the game, you should have more than enough. Now, as for the last material that we need, those brains, basically, I will actually give you two options. So if we see here, it's White Knight Gulch, Mission Monsters. So there are two places you can usually farm them. One is that borderline of the truth. Here, the benefit is there are two mission monsters that spawn. So you basically have double the chance to acquire this but every time i'm running this mission i'm super unlucky so that's why i'm not playing it even though another reason you could use it is for the module mp collector so if you still need mp collector and you need those brains this is a really good mission but because i already have mp collector and this mission i'm super unlucky with i personally prefer this mission with bunny it's basically maybe it takes you two minutes i will show it to you now and basically fast forward to the whole thing but i usually get between three and five brains if i do this mission so i need to do it like five times it takes me around 10 minutes maybe eight depending on how lucky i get and so that's the mission i would advise you to do so yeah let's run this mission real quick i will obviously fast forward it and then we will jump to the blueprint So as you can see, it was very fast. We got three of the brains, so I need to do it like three more times now, or four more times. And yeah, let's go over to the blueprints. There are two ways to basically get them. Or not really two ways because you need to kill bosses to get them, but there are two ways to handle this. So the way I'm handling this currently in the game is I'm not focusing on them. I go for, I'm farming my weapon blueprints, I'm farming my descendant blueprints, and while I'm opening all those materials to get those, I will eventually get crystallization catalysts blueprints. So I'm more of a as a farmer from those currently and i think that's the best way to do it simply put if you focus too much on one thing in this game you will get burned out really quick and especially since those have only a 20 percent chance so it should be on average a one in five that you get them and um, this isn't really how this game works i know a lot of people are like oh the drop rates are rigged and stuff like this i personally haven't had this that experience yet i would actually say the contrary i think the percentages are a bit more in your favor than what is shown to you but that's just my experience from putting in like 100 hours into this game now but overall i think the best way to handle this is to not actively farm them but maybe you currently have a new weapon that you need to get out or you finally unlocked like ultimate bunny and you want to spec her fully then i would say the easiest way to do it is still to farm for something else at the same time if you go for bosses for example let's say you want the smithereens blueprint or the afterglow sword nanotube or the lapic stabilizer blueprint while you are farming those things and you need to find the executioner to get them you always have a chance to get the catalyst blueprint so the best way i still think is to make it a two in one where you farm for for example the afterglow sword nano two because you want the afterglow and then you just open amorphous materials where also there's a catalyst blueprint so that you have two things in the 
this material that you want instead of one thing. But if that's nothing you want to do and you really only want the catalyst blueprints, then the easiest way would actually be to farm for a material 009. I know it's only a 15% chance here, but the funny part is the mission to actually get this is the mission I told you about where you only need to run to the first boss. So in this case, if you just play through the whole mission or normal, it should be super easy, especially if you have a somewhat kitted character. It's basically you not only everyone get enough materials for the crystallization catalyst, but you also get the blueprint. But that's up to you. As I said in the beginning, I think it's easier to just farm them passively. But if you need them, I think that's the mission I would personally run. So with all of this set, let's finally craft my crystallization catalyst. And yeah, I know for the blueprint stuff, that's probably not want what a lot of you wanted to hear. That I'm basically saying get this passively. But I think I got like five blueprints while farming for my python for example that's like the fifth python i needed to completely max it out and yeah i hope this video helped you guys farm the stuff for the crystallization catalysts a bit faster and please don't stress about it it's not that important that you have a fully maxed character with like 10 of those in it to actually get stuff done at least not currently and year from now this might change but at least currently don't stress about it go for other things happy grinding to you all i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one.